and welcome back to Plain Jane Plants. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a houseplant tour with my mom at her place. So everyone give a warm welcome to Suzanne. <laughs> hi everybody, welcome to <laughs> This is the intro, that's it, sorry. There's three words to describe your houseplant collection, what would it be? Green. Green and nearly dead. Okay, so this is what I like to call my plant area. So over here we have fake plants, but over here we have lots of greenery. Uh, this is called a Jubanula, and then we have this sumptuous little morsel that is super green. And um, not sure if there's a little baby. Oh, there's a little part that just fell off of there. But it's it's very happy here. I don't know if it's because it gets the sunlight, but it's pretty, pretty good. And then we have this. And I wanna thank my daughter, Sarah, for giving me most of these plants and telling me I had no choice to have them. But I do I do care about them very, very much. And so we have this, this, oh, this vine. I love that you don't know the names of anything. This crunchy vine. It's a little bit crunchy. It made me some love. Um, but I like to tuck it away back in here because it gives it like a like a feel of, you know, like a forest kind of thing. This reminds me of like a pot plant. Uh, I'm not sure, sir. What is this called? That's a chiflera. This is my chiflera. And so uh, Sarah gave this to me. Uh, it's a gold, I think, right, Sarah? It hasn't grown at all since. And no, no, and I like them not to grow. I like them to be dwarf because then I don't have to move them around. So there's that. Okay. And then if we pan over to here, a beautiful shelf. Sarah gave me this in the summertime. It was quite, quite small and it actually needs a little bit of water, but um, it's got some new growth going on there, so I'm very happy about that. The leaves don't look as spry as they used to, um, but this is, I believe, a form of a cactus, Sarah. It's jade, and what's this called here? Uh, you actually bought it for me, and I gave you a small piece. Wonderful, yeah. and it's and it's, it's called a portulaca, I think. It's a portulaca, so it's Italian. <laughs> and then this, I love the way this just just flows, just falls over like a like a like a rainfall. It's very very pretty on this gorgeous shelf I bought many years ago that I only had up a couple of times in my old old house, but it really really gives this corner a good accent. Over here we have another vine. I actually just cut it back yesterday uh, because I didn't water it and forgot about it. And so, I apologize, I'm so sorry. I cut it back, there's some very nice uh, fresh leaves on there that feel pretty good. Over in here, now I was killing this. I killed it, I think twice actually. And Sarah came over, got it out of the ground, cut it down, threw it in here. Uh, and, it, and it's like, it's called the My Propagation Center. So, uh, so are you very happy that I use Yes, that very, word? yes, very professional. It's My Propagation Center. And in here we have a mixture. Here's another type. Now look at, look at the roots on that. That, that is just lovely. And before I used to have it sitting in the sun, but now because I have this wonderful, um, this wonderful pot, I just think it looks beautiful in there. If you pan down here, Sarah, um, you will see uh, this is absolutely, I love this. I don't know what it is about it. It's so pretty. It has a little baby coming in, so that's very nice. A little crispy around the edges. Not sure what I'm going for there. I think I'm going for something that's derelict. So this is like a derelict plant, and then this one over here, very pretty. I love the blue and white uh, plates. This one here is very healthy. Look at the vibrant um, colors on this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I love everything about it. Very light colors here, and then it puddles down as well. 
as the one above it. This is so pretty. I love this. I love it because it has little purple uh, leaves on there. If you can see that, can you see that well? Yeah. It's so pretty. And then look at the light green here. I, I'm not exactly sure. Sir, what is this called? What is what The is Calicia this? Repens. One's the regular green, the other one is the Pink Lady. Oh, so there are actually two plants they're in two, here. Yeah, two different kinds of the same but plant. The same, but the same family. Yeah. Okay, lovely. So they're like cousins. Yep. Yeah, lovely. Anyways, and I think they really like it on this beautiful big blue and white plate that I have here. Down here, we have this little sad sack. Oh, and here's... Here's Schmeichel, my very old cat. Schmeichel, say hi to everybody, my sweet. No, you cannot eat these, my darling. He he thinks because I'm on the floor, I'm actually feeding him toast because he likes his toast. Don't mind him. He's a little derelict as well. So this here um, is a little pathetic. Sarah, when Sarah arrived here a little while ago, she came over and goes, Mom, what is this? And I kind of tucked it in, but it's pretty pathetic. <laughs> and Sarah says it's dead. So you know what I thought? It's dead. Just shove it in there. You know what? And maybe maybe it looks like it's like alive and it's thriving. <laughs> I like to put it near the back and show off the ones in front of it just to embarrass the hell out of it. <laughs> so this little guy here, this, there's nothing in it, but isn't that the cutest little pot you've ever <laughs> seen in your life? It's adorable. I want it to be in something. Maybe it could be a hat. Oh, wait a second. Look, it could be a hat for my cat. It so looks like a Shriner. <laughs> oh no, now he's all full of, sorry, oh. sorry, we'll get the brush out later. Uh, then we've got this, this is cute. It actually just kind of looks like a weed. This is it. actually the same plant that's trailing down there. This one's just really unhealthy. Oh really, maybe I should move it up a little bit. <laughs> maybe I should move it up a little bit. Maybe it needs a hat as well. Anyways, I'm gonna move him. Maybe I'll move him up here. What about that? All the blue plates together. It's the blue plate special. That's what we're calling this this today. Okay, so we'll move this down here. That's very nice. This one here. This is really cute. This little this little pot here because I got that at the Dollarama. Dollarama is fantastic, but very healthy. Uh, what do you call it when they're different colors? Vera, vera what? Variegation. Variegation. Uh, some nice variegation. I really like this leaf here. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. And let's pan over to these beautiful plants. Now these were outside and I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with them? And Sarah's like, mom, bring them inside. They will, they will, uh, they will bloom all, all winter long. So now we're like close to January. But in these, when they were outside and they had direct sun on them, they were like huge, great big flowers beautiful but now that they're inside and they're looking for the light over at that window over there they're long and then they're stretching over and look at the colors you've got like you've got like peaches oh darn. oops i'm so oh sorry oh my god oh my god oh my gosh uh, that's so sad well you know what we'll just put it well, down guess here. the apple isn't so far from the tree eh <laughs> now everyone can see where i got my green thumb from right and so uh anyways so now, uh, these are all very long, mm -hmm. and there's all these pretty little flowers, but look at the colors. You've got greens and blues. I'm not gonna touch it, because I don't want it, but seriously, how adorable is that? Yeah. Is that absolutely beautiful? I should really put them on this, on this trellis here. Isn't that a pretty? And then over here, another yellow one. This one here, I tried, those two pots here, and I try and uh, change them around. There's some crunchies in there. Yeah, yeah, we know it. It's okay. Look at this. Like, don't you want to just get yourself a straw hat and a mint julep and just sit there with a great big taffeta dress? <laughs> I do. Okay, panning over onto... Why don't you show us our, your other begonia? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this begonia over here... This begonia over here. That's a snake plant. That's a snake plant. Oh, that's a begonia. Oh yeah. <laughs> this begonia. Oh, this begonia. Oh, this one. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Oh yeah. That's Betty begonia, and she usually sits in uh, my kitchen because uh, Sarah was saying uh, too much sunlight, right? But mm -hmm. now she's a little bit, she's a little bit ticked off. 
and uh, so Sarah's like, you know, mom really needs to be like as my son. So, uh, so <laughs> it just came it? to life. It's like, oh, sorry, and your phone actually attacked my arm <laughs> because I wasn't doing it right. Okay, so this is begonia. Look at look at the leaves. Look at the leaves, and look at this little one right here. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. So it's sitting here right now amongst my little family pictures here, which I love so much. Uh, over here, we have this little guy here that needs to be watered. And this is uh, another form of cactus or a snake plant, which is close to a cactus because when you think of it, out in the desert, you've got cactus, you have cacti, and then you have snakes. So it's a snake plant. So very beautiful. I have it sitting on this really pretty little um, quilted um, thingy for <laughs> Christmas. I just thought it was really cute. Oh, but look at this. This is precious. Bought this. Oh, yes, sir. Watered that a while ago. Oh. That's okay. Uh, it was getting a bit crispy, and Sarah's like, hey, like, when's the last time you watered this? I'll Let's switch sides because we're a little backlit right now. So okay. just stand here. There okay. we go. That's better. So uh, it's a little bit crispy, uh, but I was so paranoid because I've had one before and, uh, and I killed it. Sorry, I did. <laughs> Murderer! <laughs> and uh, so it's been a little bit crispy. So when Sarah came over, she said, you know what? Just submerge the, the whole thing, this here, in a good big bowl of water. So we did that. And she was saying, Sarah, correct me if I'm wrong, this here, when it turns like a silver, that means it needs water, right? Yep. Yeah, so it was silver. Silver like my hair. <laughs> and I'm thinking, that's perfect. <laughs> so that's, uh, and look how pretty that is. And let me just turn this on. Uh, I only have, true story, this is, this is a Christmas tree this year. I'm going, I'm going simple. But look at how pretty that is together. Oh la la! Wow! Magnifique! Turn that around, you know? Wow! So, anyways, that sits on this beautiful little area right down here. And, uh, Christmas card. What else do I have here to show you? Oh, come on over here. So, excuse the mess of the couch. Uh, cat and dog here, so, so, uh, trying to make it pet friendly. This over here, Sarah gave me this. Look how gorgeous it is. It's the same one as you just saw a while ago in the corner. I usually have it in my bedroom, uh, but I decided to bring it out here and it really finishes off this table beautifully. Uh, this is where we will be drinking wine from later. <laughs> uh, over here in this corner, I love this. And this used to be in the corner with the other plants. And Sarah moved it over here uh, because it needed more light or... Because your uh, Chinese evergreens got root rot again, so we had to take them out of the pot from here. Oh yes, that's right. My bad. Again. Again. <laughs> that's my MO, right? Over water, over water. But look how beautiful that is. It's doing so, so great. And, and it's very, very hardy. Very hardy. And uh, very pretty. Not sure what's going on here. A little bit of jealousy, maybe. I don't know. I kind of want to cut that off, or maybe I'll just hide it underneath here. There, nobody knows. Ha ha. So there you go. So that's beautiful. And I wanted to show off. Look at this pot. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? I bought that at a flea market uh, near Morrisburg, McAfee's Flea Market, a few years ago. I absolutely love it. It's got a special name. It's called the uh, it's Three Faces. Or four faces. Four. Four faces of something. Four faces of Eve. I'm not exactly sure, but it definitely deserves to have a focal point here in the room on this beautiful uh, little table down here. Now this is a sad story. I think I've killed this a couple of times, right, Sarah? Have I? Just underwatered. I just underwatered it. So now uh, Sarah repotted it for me. I had like a great big urn kind of thing and Sarah repotted it for me. And whenever I see it drooping, uh, I water it. Though, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what this is about. Sarah, do you have any ideas? Like, is that underwater or overwater? That's very underwatered. It is, eh? Okay, because I'm so paranoid now because I've, I've gotten root rot many times. Right, right. right. But or, this one is more thirsty than any other plant. 
So you told me that every few days I should yeah I should water it, but I only give it a little bit of water, so maybe I need to give it more. Soak it, yeah. Soak it, right? Yeah. Okay. So I will do that. And this was looking beautiful yesterday. Uh, no, I'm lying. It was probably about like a week ago. It was gorgeous. I had watered it, <laughs> and in the afternoon it was like, "Hi, I'm back." And then a couple of days later, it's like, "Oh my god, I'm so tired." <laughs> so then I watered again, but uh, not enough. Not enough. No. So I just gave it a sprinkle. It was like I was just teasing it, teasing it. Yeah. Water, uh, or maybe not. So, and uh, oh, let's go to my bathroom. So in my bathroom, uh, again, all the most of these plants were given to me by Sarah. In my little bathroom in here, we have a point that I've had for probably, I want to say, four years. It's not been red since I bought it like four years ago, but I love it because it's green and um, it, it just is just a sturdy good friend. It's kind of like a bonsai moment, right? Exactly. You know, I love that idea. I love, I'm going to call it the bonsai poinsettia. Perfect. Per okay, good. I'm going to call it Bob. And so that's Bob, and it looks really nice because this is a bare wall, and uh, in be the, behind there, there's plumbing, so I can't put any pictures up here, so I really wanted something that moves up. Sarah gave me this plant. Now I think it's underwatered. Uh, Very. It's a fern. It's a fern. So I don't know how much water it really needs, though. Does it, do, do ferns need a lot of water? I'm not sure. Yeah, they do. Like, more water than your feet, Lily. Oh, oh gosh, okay. And every once in a while, I move them out to the dining room and put them on the table. So I will water them uh, later on. But I like the way these look in the, in my bathroom. They're very, very pretty. Actually called an apple tree, and they look so real. So pretty. So I think that is it for the tour of my, my place. So thank you, Sarah, for coming by. And I get editor's rights whenever you, uh, no close-ups, no close-ups, no, back, 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 back. Thank you. What do you say? I'm trying to look mysterious. Yeah, very mysterious. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. And what's this? That's a hoof. Oh, it looked like a big poo.